Good morning and welcome to another UK Radio Scanners tutorial. Don't forget to give us a visit at the UK Radio Scanners Facebook group and if you're watching the video it would be great if you gave us a like and a subscribe with notifications on. So um, the first video we did the setup, the second video I showed you how to put the frequencies file in and today I'm going to show you how to set up logging and recording. Um, so first off, um, I am in my SDR Sharp folder, and I've created two new um, folders. They're blank at the moment, or empty at the moment. Sorry, recording. Okay, so I've just right-clicked new folder and created two new empty folders. I've called one logging and one recording. So if we get SDR Sharp up and running, the only other change since last time is this is now running on um, an S by Mini as opposed to the SDR, um, the Nurelec SDR dongle. Um, but uh, that's no big deal to be honest. It's not a massive difference between the two actually from a reception perspective and obviously the mini dongle is much more expensive. Um, it just scans faster. So the R2 will scan at about 100 megs per second. Set the volume down. And this is the mini I think. I'll soon tell you. Yeah. Uh, so this, this has got a 4.8 meg bandwidth versus 10 in the um, R2, Let's turn the volume right down. Um, so that's giving us a scan speed of, typically runs at about 40, what have we got here? 35 to 38, so it's quite a bit faster than the um, new elect dongle, um, but obviously it's a bit more expensive as well. So uh, I'm gonna stop it for a minute. Okay, so we'll set up recording first. So, in your audio recorder, you need to set up a folder. So you click Folder Select, navigate to your um, SDR Sharp folder. So mine sits in Downloads and I've selected Recording and OK. Then we go into Configure. Not too much to do in here. So I've selected to delete file if the, if the file size is less than and I'll put it to one second. So if it's if it's just catching odd um, sort of carriers and things while it's scanning through, it'll wait for a second before it keeps the file. Okay? It doesn't lose the first second, it just if it stops before a second, it doesn't bother saving it. Okay, and then I can configure what I want um, to be displayed in the file name when it records. So it's going to show date, group, frequency name, time, name, frequency. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So it tells you here what you can use and you can delete anything that you don't want. So we're gonna click and then we're gonna go into recorder options and I've got auto start recording. So as soon as I hit play and scan, it starts recording straight away, straight away for me. And I've got nothing else selected in there. Okay. So now when we hit play and scan, you can see it's automatically started recording. Hopefully we'll get some transmissions. <laughs> Typical. See if there's much out there today. Let's just give it a little bit of volume. Uh, there we go. So we've got a recording straight away. So here's me down the next to approach. There's a few bits out there. Okay, so we've got a couple of files. That's all that matters for now. So, what I'll do, I'll go back to my ASPY folder. Here's the recording folder that I set up. The first folder it will set up for you is a date. So you'll get, it does this automatically for you. So all you've set up is a, a, an empty folder and you've pointed SDR sharp to that folder in the record settings. You don't, you're not doing anything else. So it's automatically created this for me. It'll do one for each day. So the 7th of the 3rd, <clears throat> and then it will do another folder 
it will do more folders based on your groups, how you've got your group set up. So um, if it's not in a group at all, obviously it will go to the no group folder. If it's within a group, it will go to the civil air folder in this case. And you can see it, it names the folder based on the, what you've got programmed into your frequency manager file. So if I want to listen to whatever was transmitted on this frequency, I double click it and you can see I get the file name which gives me the time, 9.21 and 48 seconds. And then again, it gives me the tag that I've got programmed into the, into the frequency manager. Double click. Sorry, you didn't see that. I'm using a dual screen monitor and I'm only rec uh, I, a dual screen monitor. <laughs> I've got two monitors on the PC. And uh, I'm to to the So there we go. If it recorded more than one transmission, I don't think I left it running long enough. If it had recorded more than one, I can click select all, and then if I click open here, it will just play them all in succession. Okay, so that is the um, recording feature. And if you decide that you don't want those recordings, you can literally just delete it. Now, when I start it again in a moment, it will just create another new folder there for me. Okay, so on to logging. Okay, so the login works in this section here. So we're going to click configure. Again, I need to point it to a folder. So we click folder, SDR sharp, and logging. So that's where it will save it. I need to click enable activity logging. Now, again, we can decide what we want the file to look like. I don't use time for this. Um, I'll show you why in a second. If you look at the element separator, well, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let, I'll let it run and show you why I'm changing it. The other thing I'm going to do, when I can find it, I'm going to click show session hits for frequency. I'm going to click show active SNR. And I'm going to click log totals at the end of each session. And I'll show you what that does in a moment. So, and you don't, once you've done that in the folder, you don't need to switch it on each time. So if I hit play and scan, it's now logging. And you can see records red, so it's recording. I need to get a few hits on this, guys, if you can bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. It's always so quiet when I do these videos. I'm not in a very good location for radio here. I'm right down in the bottom of a valley. And uh, I'm about 100 feet ASL. And the, and the ground in most directions around me goes up to about 800 feet ASL. So uh, I can hear the aircraft high up, but the range isn't too great. I can't hear any ground stations, apart from maybe, maybe Exeter, but it's right in the back of the set. When, uh, when Exeter comes through. So we got a couple of hits there, so I'm just gonna stop this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my SDR sharp folder. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to logging, okay. I've got two files in here. So again, it's created this file for me. I didn't have to recreate it, it was just an empty folder. If I double click that, it's opening on the other screen. Drag it over. Okay. <clears throat> so
So you can see it's logged the time, the frequency, the tag, the secondary tag, if you've got one, and then the time it was active for. Okay, so I'm going to make a few changes to this now. So if we pop back into SDR Sharp, go back into configure. Okay, so logging. I don't want the time. Oops, fat fingers. I don't want the time and I don't want the duration. And I'm going to change the element separator to a space. So it's going to look like I've done nothing here. Delete. Space. Okay. If I turn it back on with this folder open, then uh, I'll get an error message. So, so I'm going to close that folder. We're going to let it run again. Sorry, I don't know if you could hear the other radio in the background there. Okay, so we got another hit there, so I'm going to hit stop. And uh, back into the folder. Now you see the bottom line. Okay, now if you look, the bottom line's different. So I've lost the time and I've lost the duration. Okay, so I've just got tap, frequency, tag, and then secondary tag, thirdary tag. <laughs> um, and you can see that it was doing a semicolon before, and now I've just got a space, which suits me. So you can configure that however you want to, for your needs. And then we've got a session activity hit. Some of you might find this one a bit more useful. Again, I need to drag it over. So the first one I showed you, you will get a new line for every period of activity. Okay. So if you get multiple transmissions on the same frequency, you'll get a new line for each transmission, okay? This one will give you one line per frequency per session, okay? So we, we started our first session at 925, 50 seconds, and we stopped it at 927. When you hit stop, that's when it logs, okay? And then we started a second session at 928 and ended it at 929. So you can see what I'm getting here is the frequency the alpha tag, and then the number of hits. So these say one. It won't do a new line for each frequency. So if the scanner during the session stops on this frequency 20 times, you'll get a 20 at the end here. Okay. Close that down. And we'll start running again. So that's pretty well it for today, guys. Hopefully that is of some use to you. Let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to visit the Facebook group if you haven't done so already. Everybody's welcome. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye-bye.